What's up everybody? It's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Let's hop right into the message, you all. Let's see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know at this time. Holy Spirit, what is the message for the collective, please? And thank you. What is it that you would like for us to know, Holy Spirit? From you, through me, at this time, please, and thank you. What is the message? Messages. Messages from you, Holy Spirit. Insight and guidance from you at this time. Please and thank you. What is the message? Let's see, y'all. Let's see. Two of Pentacles. Something about money, for sure. Seven of Swords with the Ace of Wands. You may be getting a new opportunity here. Okay? Someone may be getting a new financial opportunity. Maybe getting a job offer of some kind here. And it's going to look like a very good prospect, something that will help you possibly get out of some kind of financial struggle. It's going to look like a good opportunity, and it's going to come from a King of Pentacles Emperor energy. But with the Seven of Swords here, there's some manipulation behind this offer. With the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Cups, okay? Whoever this is, it's like they're going to come to you like they want to help you, take care of you, give you some type of financial opportunity even so that you're, you're in a better position to take care of yourself. Whoever this King of Pentacles Emperor energy is, they are a boss. And you know what I just heard? I'll do anything that you say, anything, because you a boss, okay? That's what I just heard, 2-2-2 two, two, two on the clock. So whoever this King of Pentacles Emperor energy is, he is used to people respecting him, bowing down to him, looking to him for help, financial assistance. I think he uses this as leverage in his relationships and his connections because the Seven of Swords came right out before his abundance and his wealth and his power. So he does use, he, do, he uses his, his abundance his wealth and his power to manipulate situations in his favor or how he feels they should go. And if you accept this new opportunity from this person, you may be manipulated. You may be in the nine of wands. It may feel like you won, but you're, it was a, it's going to be a constant struggle to remain in this winning energy with this person. We have the Page of Cups has come out here behind the Knight of Cups. I feel like this love offer, this, well, I ain't going to say maybe it is a love offer. Whatever type of offer this is here. I don't I think it's a love offer but I don't think he's he's going to bring it to you as a love offer. This man is going to present this to you as some type of financial opportunity. A slick offer, a message that shows his interest but doesn't necessarily convey how he feels for you, but there's romanticism. Look, you got someone got a mess. Someone has some communication, a message, possibly an email coming in from a King of Pentacles Emperor energy who wants to work with you, who wants to give you some type of new opportunity, a financial opportunity. But there is some manipulation here because this man wants to date you. This man really like you. He want to fuck with you, but this is how he's coming in. Yep, we have the Seven of Cups. With some type of opportunity that's going to help you come up out of some type of balancing act that you're doing with your finances. 
Whatever this is, it's going to provide you with flexibility. You're going to have more options when it comes to how you receive money. You know, you're... I don't know what that word is that I'm looking for. But it's also... Some type, some, something is tied up with this, this offer that this man is bringing to you. Okay. I'm telling you right now, it's going to look like, you know, you're finally in a position of flexibility and freedom when it comes to living your life and maintaining a solid foundation. I mean, the four of wands is a positive card and it also indicates something regarding success has occurred within a partnership. Okay. So this will seem like a successful partnership and I, I feel like it will be okay. With this three of cups, I feel like it will be, but I feel like when you accept offers from this type of energy, this you're going to be up under this person's thumb. That's what this nine of wands is about now. You're going to get what you want, but at what cost, at what expense? That's, that's what I'm picking up here. Something like that here. Clarify this nine of wands, Holy Spirit, please. And thank you. We have the strength and we have the high priestess. There's something that you need to pay more attention to regarding this person and any offers that they bring to you. Okay. When you get the strength card, liter literally strength talks about your instinctive nature. Okay. And listening to those whispers from the universe, the strength, the card says you have learned to work with your own instinctive nature to listen to it and hear its whisperings. This is a time when faith in yourself will pay off. The high priestess is about intuitive downloads having paying more attention to what is hidden what somebody may even be hiding from you i feel like this emperor has another agenda and it is an agenda it is an agenda revolt how can i say it his agenda involves romance but the way that he is pulling you in is it's almost like you're going to be indebted to him. Okay. Clarify Holy Spirit. You hear my cat? I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Eight of cups. I feel like if you are willing to endure some things, you will have a success with this emperor. But it's not going to be an easy road. I'm telling you right now. This Ace of Wands. This Four of Wands. This Seven of Cups. Even any of your wildest dreams being able to come true. Because he has the power to be able to make that happen. But I'm telling you right now. You are going to endure some things to receive any type of abundance. Prosperity. Prosperity opportunity from this individual why why am i picking up on this holy spirit ten of cups five of wands because whoever this is and whatever they're going to present to you however they present it to you he could be an aries he definitely he probably got aries and capricorn in his chart okay but it's going to look like you know, your future, it just can't get no better. It's going to be this seven of cups energy. Everything that you fantasize and wish to have. Those things that you dream about when you were in this two of pentacles energy, struggling to balance your finances. Because it's something like that here. It's like this man knows that you need financial help. And this is how he's going to pull you in. It's going to be like you almost aren't going to be able to deny him intimately because you are indebted to him financially. It's something like that here because this five of wands came out right behind this 10 of cups. Okay. 
It's not going to be as easy as he initially presents, presents it to you that it will be. You know, I feel like it, it's going to be other people that you will have to and not engage with, but there's some drama with this man. What's up with this five of wands, Holy Spirit? It's other people he got in the same position, okay? The page of swords then came out here in reverse. What did I just say to y'all? The, he is some other people that he got in the same position. And let me tell you why I'm correct for saying that. The card says, represents someone who is sponging off others. Or it can indicate someone who is bad-tempered or cap capable of spiteful action. This man is spiteful. This man will throw up in your face. Well, I just did this, this, and that for you. So I don't want to hear nothing about what I'm asking you or saying or requiring you to do now, okay? You are going to be locking yourself into some type of toxic situation if you accept this offer from this person, if you accept this financial help. This man is going to be spiteful. That's the word. And he has a lot of other people on his payroll, I just heard, people that he consistently gives to, okay, who don't mind sponging off of him, don't mind receiving any type of abundance from him because they ain't got nothing. This could be family members. This could be friends. Five of Wands is, is a person's community, people that they interact with, whether that's family, friends, lovers, associates of whatever kind okay so he already has people that he that he keeps in this energy and he's hoping to be able to put you in this energy as well what else holy spirit three of wands it's time to take things firmly in hand and to act in a mature and responsible manner based on your experience and common sense okay this might look like the right path, the prime opportunity to engage with this person, but this is what will follow. You will be wishing for a way out before you know it because it's almost like you're going to be giving him some kind of control over your life. And the two of wands talks about losing control, no longer having the influence over your life that you've had, okay? What's going to be the outcome, Holy Spirit? Anything else that we need to know about this here, Holy Spirit? We have the Nine of Swords, the Six. I just noticed this camera had been falling. Hopefully, hold on, y'all, because I just noticed it was doing that. One second, let me tighten this up. Okay, we had the nine of swords, the six of pentacles, and the ten of pentacles here. Baby, I don't know what's up with this man, but it's really giving narcissistic vibes here. Nine of swords with the six of pentacles. There are people that this man gives to and receives from that wish they could get up out of these contracts with him. I don't know what they didn't sign. I don't know what they agreed to. I don't know what type of loan or stipend they receive. Okay. But some of these people feel like they could be doing better if they would have just went out on their own. They could possibly even be in the Ten of Pentacles instead of the Six of Pentacles if they would have developed better partnerships and ways of generating abundance for themselves other than getting breadcrumbs from this man. He breadcrumbs some of these people. But however, he he they got locked in with him cuz these are different types of relationships, okay? So however they've locked themselves in with this King of Pentacles emperor, they're indebted to him and they're being breadcrumbed and they're not happy <laughs> about 
these arrangements. That's what this Five of Wands is also about, as well as this Nine of Swords. These people feel like they are at a loss. These people feel like they didn't got duped by the devil now. That's why I tell you, this man do got Capricorn in his chart. But he, he's very controlling. The devil card suggests feeling trapped, perhaps in an unhealthy relationship, an addiction, or a lie. This will be a very unhealthy relationship. And again, I, how is this King of Pentacles Emperor aware of who I'm talking to? We have the Eight of Pentacles with the Fool, Queen of Cups. He may work with you. You may be a Pisces with this hangman, follow right behind this Queen of Cups. But this man may work with you, okay? He may have seen you working, I just heard. He, may have, he has observed you working. You don't work with him. He's observed you working somehow, okay? And he's hoping that you will be willing to leave behind whatever you're doing now and take this risk with him, accept this opportunity, okay? And for me, what I'm seeing here, if you're already in the Eight of Pentacles with what you're doing, yes, you you might be juggling things. It might be a, a kind of tight right now, but an Eight of Pentacles is someone who is investing their energy and their effort into something that's ultimately going to pay off for them that's going to build them generational wealth even and sometimes it takes time you have to put in you know work more work than you thought you did at times before you see the benefits pay you know the benefits you before you see things pay off and i just feel like if you keep doing what you're doing it will pay off for you. You don't have to put yourself in a position where you are indebted to this person. Okay. Queen of cups. You have the position. You have the, how can I say this? Boy, I'm telling you, whoever this is, he got the gift of gab. He has the gift of gab. He knows how to make things sound good and entice people and draw them in and get them to agree to what he wants them to do, okay? But you have the gift of deciding your own fate with this hangman energy, Queen of Cups. You can choose to channel a transformation within yourself. Continue to invest in yourself love and nurture yourself and things are going to smooth out. That's what I'm hearing. This hangman also talks about transformation. Whatever choices you make right now, queen of cups is going to determine what your future is, whether you have, you know, a good outcome or a bad outcome. So you need to reevaluate what is truly important to you at this time. Is it going to be worth you being stuck up under this person's thumb if you accept their help, this financial opportunity, this offer? Or will it be better to just keep doing what you're doing, hunker down and put in a little bit more work and love into what you're doing and watch things smooth out on their own? Okay, because I do believe that's what that is what will happen for you. The sun you will you will experience a revitalization in your life in your situation if you choose to push through this tough time that you're experiencing you do not have to accept what this person is offering and put yourself in a worse position here okay you may the son can talk about it says, let me tell you what it says. You are ready to undertake new projects with enthusiasm. Okay? Such as taking on a more satisfying job. So maybe you should take those eight of pinnacle skills that you have, your abilities, and go find you a better job than the one that's got you struggling right now. 
Okay, you can upgrade your own life. That's what I'm hearing. You don't need this person, this controlling person, to upgrade your life for you. Okay? Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else regarding this energy here? Please and thank you. We have the magician. The action you take determines your fate. It determines where you are at. And you can determine if you're going to be on the top of the wheel or the bottom of the wheel. Just because this person got money don't mean that you are going to be on the top of the wheel. Because one thing I'm noticing here is that even though this person is offering you this prime opportunity, where are the benefits? No real benefits. No type of pinnacle energy followed whatever this Ace of Wands is. Only thing that has followed is a Nine of Wands and a Seven of Cups. With the Four of Wands, which is this person's this facade that they're putting on that they can make your foundation more solid when in actuality they're going to have you in the six of pentacles here. Okay. And the two of wands losing control over your life, the direction you go in, because if you lock in with whoever this is, you're going to have to do what they say. It's something like that here. Like you're going to be, indebted to them somehow and they're going to use that to their advantage hermit the hermit can talk about getting getting help seeking enlightenment seeking answers maybe you've reached how does this queen of cups know this king of pentacles emperor holy spirit he has seen you work but how would he know about your financial situation? We have the moon with the six of cups. So this is somebody from your past. They may know of your situation, your current situation. They may have even researched, asked about you here with this hermit card. But they, they, they have figured out what you got going on somehow. Okay. And this is their way in. Your struggle is their way into your life. Their way back into helping you get things right. Justice. This is the way that they're going to try to balance the scales with you. By offering you a way to come up out of this five of pentacles. This person is really going to lay it on thick now with this Empress and this Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups. But then we got the Seven of Pentacles right behind that, y'all. I'm telling you, with the Three of Swords and the Five of Swords, this is not going to be an easy road to hoe. I'm telling you right now. He going to make it seem like it's going to be all roses and sunflowers and pansies. And I'm telling you, your ass gonna be in the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, with the Five of Swords, defeated. This is somebody you already know. This person knows about your financial situation, and they are going to use that as an attempt to reconnect with you. They're gonna offer you financial help, okay? And they're hoping that you will take the offer because it's going to go from there. That offer is going to lead to intimacy. And that intimacy is going to lock you into some type of contract with this man. Some type of Eight of Swords energy you're going to get locked into like these other people that are already locked into some similar type of connection with him. So the Holy Spirit is saying, it's time to lay this to rest. If you are truly, because whoever this is, this is someone from your past. Is this Queen of Cups still wanting to be with whoever this King of Pentacles Emperor is? Death. You, you're, you've ended it. You thought this was over. I feel like this is also how he's going to catch you by surprise. You've been out here like this. But lately it's been hard now. And somehow he knows that. How does this King of Pentacles Emperor know about this 
Divine Feminist situation, Holy Spirit? How does he know? We have temperance. This man is able to observe you working somehow, okay? So maybe you work at somewhere local and you get to see your ex, like maybe you work at a grocery store, a department store or something, and he come in there. You know, I just heard T-Mobile, child. I don't know, child. I just heard T-Mobile. Maybe you work at T-Mobile and he come in there to pay his bill or some shit, and he been seeing you. And it's obvious, look, with this Knight of Pentacles, that, you know, things are not as easy as they could be for you. But this man, he got money and he got power. And he is going to use that to reel you back in. And if you and him have reconnected, it was obvious something, obviously something that stopped you from wanting to deal with him before. So just keep that in mind with this moon to the six of cups. There's already something that you feel a suspect about this person. This is why you don't deal with them. But I do feel like you do have love for whoever this is still. And that's what they're banking on, baby. That is what they're banking on. To transform the connection between the two of y'all and have success with you. But that success, following that success with you is going to be this type of energy. He ain't going to be putting out what he initially presents to you. In the long run, he's going to be very stingy. He's going to be very stubborn and inflexible with how he shares his energy, his wealth, his abundance, his finances. Okay, so just be careful how you move forward, okay? Any final messages, Holy Spirit, anything else here? Please and thank you. Any final messages? Queen of Swords with the lovers. Be careful how you choose. Think, think carefully about the choice you make regarding this lover here. Because this is going to be a critical life decision. Make sure that you have full mental clarity about why you would even want to deal with this man, you know, think about why you stopped dealing with him in the first place. Cause all of these things are pertinent to your final decision regarding reconnecting with this King of Pentacles emperor here. Okay. And I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance moving forward, but always remember if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.